Have you heard a lender advertise that they lend on covered land and wondered what that means? In this video, I'm going to explain the meaning of covered land, the typical lending guidelines for these properties, and how to find private lending firms that will consider them. I'm Rocky Batani, CEO of PrivateLenderLink.com, where investors and brokers can easily find direct, private, hard money lending companies. If you're in the investment real estate business and want to gain insights into private mortgage lending, subscribe to our channel and get notified every time we release a new video. Covered land is a piece of commercial real estate that has an existing structure on it, which is slated to be torn down to make way for a new development in the near future. The property types are primarily multifamily, office, retail, industrial, and hotels. It could be an old shopping center that will be redeveloped into apartments or an old hotel that will be taken down to build a new office building. Whatever the case is, a short-term bridge loan can be used by CRE investors to acquire covered land or refinance their existing mortgage during the pre-development phase. Here are three scenarios in which an investor or developer could use a bridge loan. Number one, the property investor is purchasing covered land and plans to get it entitled within one to two years and then sell the project. The bridge loan would be used to finance the acquisition, which will be paid off with the sale of the entitled project to a developer. Number two, the investor already owns the property, wants to develop it, and needs to cash out equity, which will be used for pre-development soft costs. A bridge lender would provide a short-term refinance loan, which will be refinanced by a construction loan. And number three, the property investor is a developer who wants to purchase covered land, which is already entitled but not shovel ready. The bridge loan would be used to finance the acquisition, which will be paid off with a new construction loan once the project has building permits. It may be possible to get financing for the land purchase and the vertical construction, both from the same private lender, but only a small percentage of private bridge lenders provide ground up construction loans, and not all of them will consider funding the covered land purchase. Some only provide funding when the project is shovel ready, so the property investor typically has to get two separate loans, one for the covered land pre-development and another for the vertical construction. Next, let's talk about leverage and pricing. The maximum loan to value or loan to purchase price typically ranges from 50% to 65% of the as-is value. It varies based on the location and the development stage. If the project is entitled and located in a primary urban market, you may be able to get up to 65%. For unentitled projects, some lenders will still go up to 65% if it's in a prime location, and the lender will determine the leverage based on the as-is value, not the future value of the project once it's built. Covered land is still essentially land and would be a risky loan for any private lender, so most lenders will be conservative when it comes to the leverage. The key element for lenders considering covered land loans is the exit strategy. Whether the plan is to pay off the bridge loan with a sale or a construction loan, the lender has to feel confident in the ability for the project to get entitled and or approved. As for the pricing, the interest rates typically range from 8% to 10%, but it could go up to 12%. As with leverage, the pricing too varies based on the location and the development stage, plus the investor's experience and financials could be a factor as well. All lenders charge an origination fee, which typically ranges from one to three points. If you're seeking a commercial real estate bridge lender for a covered land deal, use our website privatelenderlink.com as a resource. There's no fee to search and no registration required. First, get to the CRE bridge lenders page at privatelenderlink.com slash commercial. Once you've entered a state or major metro area and you see a list of lenders, Look for the Refine Results section on the left, and from the Property Type field, select Commercial Land. At the time of this recording, we don't have covered land on this list, but plan to add it in the next few months. View each lender's profile to learn about their guidelines, rates, fees, and much more. If you want to reach out to them, click the green contact button to find their phone number and a form to send an email, or complete the detailed loan request form. If you found the content in this video to be useful, please click the like button and be sure to check out our other videos about private and hard money lending. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.